Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, got a cool new thing here. A lot of people wanted to sh me to show off the the watch faces from the LG Watch R on the Moto 360. Um, some of the watch faces are pretty cool. Some of them came out kind of weird just because of how it's... I don't know if it was a bug that Motorola said was on the device, but some of the watch faces are off-center. But I'll show you how they look, um, most of them. Um, I think I've installed 17 of the 20 that are pre-installed, so I'll show you guys a couple of them and how they look, how they're off-center, and then I'll put a brief tutorial down in the comments or in the description of the video how to load them on. It's fairly simple. Um, it takes probably two or three minutes to load them on, and then once you've loaded them on, you can un remove them if you don't like them. So I'll show you guys how that is and what they look like. This is the first watch face here um, that came in with it. Uh, this is the default one, it's called Aurora. And then if we go look at this, the other ones, there was camping. And like I said, some of them might look a little off center because how they are on there. So that one looks pretty fine. And then there was Castle White. And then they take a little bit to load, but if you can take a look, um, everything is shown up on the actual watch face except on the bottom the little black bar But that's by default. So don't worry about that. That's always going to be there Here's another one the club watch face This one loads on there pretty fine like I said everything seems to load fine on most of the watch faces But some of them just look a little off-center. So I'll show you guys on that coordinates is another one that was on there See, this is the one that's off-center. So if you can see on there, it's lower than the rest of the screen itself. And then push, the numbers are kind of cut off. So hopefully they fix this bug. If it's, I, if it's specific to the operating system like Motorola said, or if it's loaded because of the watch faces made for one device or the other. They're both circular watch faces, so I don't see why that would matter. So I'll go ahead and take a look around, play with that. Um, see it. This was another one of my cool watch faces, my favorites. Um, called dashboard. Again, this one's off center and push down. It's still you can still see the time, but you can't see the outside of the watch face. So that's what sucks about it. But hopefully they fix that bug. If it is a bug, if not, we'll have to deal with it. Um, here is. Let's take a look. Digilog. It's a digital and analog. Again, this watch face not centered and pushed down. It works as it's supposed to, just not centered. So some people might be off put by that. This is the fitness watch face that came pre-installed on it. This one again here, if you can see. Let's go ahead and same thing. This one seems pretty centered. All the way across so this one actually is working fine so I'm not sure why some of them are working some of them aren't uh, this is the hiking some of these these next ones are going to be the fitness ones um, which if you go hiking and stuff it'll it gives you how many steps you've taken the elevation Northwest so this one here is also centered correctly so like I said most of them work correctly but some of them don't number here set up the numbers in the middle digital so looks like these might have been fixed with the update because they weren't they didn't look like this the previous uh 48 84p update then there's a 48t update so they, they worked so they might be it might be the bug that they said might not so i'm not fairly sure planetary was another one of my favorites this one's not centered so you can see it's a little bit lower on this side and goes all the way around uh let's go take a look Sapphire was another one of my favorite ones, and this one again, this one's pretty much centered. It looks like it's a little off-centered and down, so like I said, if you like to watch faces, load them, you won't see a very much difference. They're there, and they're very easy to load, so that's the nice thing about them, that you're able to side-load them and get all the watch faces from the G-Watch R, and then last but not least, the world clock, so you can have multiple time zones on them. And this one's loaded correctly. So that's basically it. Showing you the different watch faces. How they look from the G-Watch R on the Moto 360. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you enjoyed content like this and anything else, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Like I said, I can't say it enough. I really appreciate your guys' support. 
If you have any questions about the watch faces, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.